Hello friends, welcome to Delta Lake video tutorials. In previous session, we covered an introduction to Delta Lake. What is Delta Lake and what are the benefits of Delta Lake and major features and advantages. So in this session, I'm going to give you one example, how to create a Delta table with the Metastore without Metastore. So before that, we need to understand what are the major features related to Delta Lake. On data reliability, if you look at the major features, ACID transactions. So Delta Lake is fulfilled supporting DML operations like insert, update, delete, schema enforcement. If any new schemas is getting from source feed, we can add in existing data file systems. Then time travel data. So whenever you are doing deletes or updates on existing data, if you want to get previous uh, historical versions, we can get that is time travel and it is supporting both the unified batch and streaming process. And regarding performance, so auto compaction default it is available. Still, we can go with the optimize option. Okay, then caching also is available, so it will give a best option whenever you are using reusing data, data skipping. So data skipping means uh, if you are going with some um, records, so what this will do, it will maintain the stats. So that stats uh, minimum maximum records. So whenever you are getting those information. It will get the data from a, a metadata file instead of data file that is called data skipping indexing also is available that is z ordering so we will cover all these things in future sessions so today just will i will give you file architecture how it will store the files whenever you are creating a delta table or delta file so default that the architecture will be like this so whenever you are creating a delta table or delta file so we will it will create a pocket file as a data file and one folder called delta log so this delta log will contain log information that is called all your transaction commits so every single commit will have a json file and whenever you do multiple transactions it will create multiple json files this json files will have metadata transaction information deleted file information and the added file information schema enforcement means schema modification everything will be there in this json files and the original data will be there in if you are using a partitions inside the partition the data file will be created as a pocket format so just start i will give one small example how to create a delta table so before that what i am doing just i need data right so i am creating a data frame emp csv df spark dot read dot csv so i have some csv file in file store tables emp.csv so it's a delimiter file header is available and the infer scheme also we will do so whatever uh, data types are there so based on data it will be created so just i'm creating a data frame so this data frame will have a data which is available in this file. So just display the data. You can see the data display. So total 15 records are there. And these are the fields you can see then. So what I'm doing, I'm going to create a delta file so i'm going to create a delta file so before that i need to i need a, some destination location right so in db utilities so uh, i will create one directory db utilities fs dot mkdir in file store tables so i'm creating one directory called target okay so this directory in this directory, I'm going to create a, again another folder, delta one folder and another is a pocket. So just I am commenting this. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to create a delta file in this location. Just So delta it's empty directory just now I have created you can see this you 
so we have a data frame so I'm going to write a data see here nothing is there in this delta we have already data frame which is 15 records the same data frame I'm going to use to create delta so before that I'm going to uh, save as a pocket file okay so just what I'm doing data frame dot write method then uh, format so format first I will create a pocket file okay then save so in this save so I'm going to create in this location it's also empty now percentage EFS. okay this just now I have created right So we can see this. So I'm creating a pocket file from this 15 records. Just so the path it's saying this path. So we're not given any fine claim, right? That's why it is saying already exist. So some what we can do, we have an option called mode. Okay mode means so append means it will add if data is available overwrite means data available also it will overwrite just i'm using mode overwrite so overwrite means if it is folder the same folder only i'm going to write so just you can run now so now pocket file has been created you can see this is pocket file so if you want to read this data as a text or just display spark dot read dot text see complete path we need this is the complete path because we are given only file name see here so it is a pocket file you can see I'm reading as a text file so if you create a pocket file data will be there and metadata will be there in the same file okay because it's a columnar store format metadata also will be there in data file so what I'm doing this is pocket right if I run it again overwrite so currently I have only one file if I do overwrite again, what will happen? It will drop this file and it will recreate. Just I'm rerunning again. Now here I'm re-verify this location. Just you can see, this is transaction information. Ignore that. But data file only one file. Data file is one file, but it is overwrite. Overwritten means existing is deleted and recreated the file. That is called overwrite but if, if i want to hold one you can't get it here so that is called pocket so if you go with the delta so delta what will happen i will tell you the difference the same syntax only same syntax only so what we can do if you want to create a delta so in, in format okay in format type we used pocket right so here we can use delta mode you can use uh, append or override and the location we need to space by that so i'm going to create in delta form okay to give the clarity on this is pocket this is delta so i'm going to create a delta file now in this location so as i explained so when we are creating a delta this storage format like this whatever your table name inside that data files will be there if you have a partitions and the particular date if you don't have partition direct pocket file will be there and the metadata will be there in json files so let's look at that so job is completed the job is completed we need to verify that okay we need to verify that percentage fs ls so it should have folder that called delta log okay and this is a pocket file let's look at this folder okay let's 
so this folder will have your json data that is your complete transaction information so if i want to read this file what we can do we can use text so display spark dot read dot text okay so just i'm reading as a text whatever is there inside file just i want to show you what will be there inside this json file so this json file will have a metadata transaction information that is commit info <coughs> sorry you can see here timestamp when it's user id who is uh, added this username operation so we used override so over as you can see here mode also okay so then notebook which notebook which cluster and isolation level and blind up and false operation matrix number of files only one file is available number of like number of output bytes this is the size number of rows 15 rows and uh, protocol also here you can see minimum read version maximum read version okay so we'll use this version okay while reading then metadata also here you can see metadata means uh, which file it is available you can see id format okay pocket format the data is available schema string is here you see each field field name data type nullable or not nullable then here you can see the file is added so we we added it right? so added means this is added file name okay added file name and the partitions currently there is no partitions empty size modification modification date and time you can see the timestamp and number of records and minimum record here minimum record is this record maximum record is this record null record is this record like this stats also it will maintain so this json will have metadata commit information okay and a reader version also will be there and stats also will be there and add type of operation so if you run it again what will happen okay what i am doing overwrite right if you do overwrite in pocket existing file will be deleted new file will be created but in delta i'm doing again overwrite okay now you can identify that differences delta and pocket so delta is a time travel time travel means old file should be there new file should be there but when you are retrieving data you will get only 15 record now you can see two files are available two files are available but uh, when you retrieve this data when you retrieve this data okay so what i am doing i am retrieving this data using sql query so select star from delta dot you need to give the path so it's not a meta store table here you can see two files are available but we are getting only 15 records so how it is retrieving 15 records that is called log okay so i will show the log delta log what was there in earlier so this is the json file see you can see this is another latest transaction what i can i will show you another one this is the old log i will keep like that only i will show latest log information display spark dot read dot text file this json file so this is old log and new log we'll verify the differences okay after again i have run it override this is the commit information you can see add information latest file this is the latest file you can see 19569c part file you can see okay here different part file this is old part file that is a snap like a pocket file right and this is a new file it is added and uh, this file will be removed the same here you can see this is added file and the um, stats also will be there here you can see additional file remove what is removed this old file c9 so old file is here you can see another json file is having a added file this file earlier it is added now it is removed actually physically it's not removed but in uh, whenever you are querying you won't get that file data that file data is actually logically it's removed so how it is managing because this transaction log will everything manage with the json file okay so 
whenever you do DML operations, so it will manage all the information in this JSON format. So that is the difference between normal file structure like pocket delta file structure. So that's what delta table will support all these features. Okay, this is the storage architecture. Transaction log single commits every time the JSON file will be created. So checkpoint will be created after 10, 10 transactions that we will discuss in other video. So in this video just I have explained the background architecture of Delta Lake file system. Okay, so Delta Lake how it is storing. So data is storing in pocket file. Transaction information and metadata is storing in JSON files. If you remove any data, if you, whenever you are overwriting anything, old will be there, new will be there. That retention period. So data, whatever we overwritten, old data is not removed. File still it is there. Okay. See here. If you go to here, two files are there. Okay. Two files are there. So, but actually this is removed. This is new file. But physically it will be there. If you go with the versioning, you will get this data, previous data. You can say it's a previous data. The retention period will be seven days for data, for transaction log for 30 days. So that we will cover in other video. So if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and share this video. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you very much.